Oh yeah, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy. And now I can't sleep because I'm pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, so this is a Sunday night rant, okay? And we'll be right back. I'll tell you about it. Yeah, so we got this beautiful Hilson pipe that I showed you in my last video, Flame Grain. And it's got bird's eye on both sides. Just a gorgeous pipe. And this is my Sunday night rant because I'm not happy. All right. Well, we all know about the fox. And if you don't know about the fox, we had a fox uh, who actually had very bad mange was very sickly and uh, started preying on our free-range chickens. So we went from 10 to 9 to 8 to 7 to blah, 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 blah. So we have one left. And uh, about a week ago, uh, this mangy, almost dead fox attacked in full view of uh, my landlord's daughter attacked the last chicken. Feathers all over the place. She beat it off with a plastic snow shovel. So, uh, you know, we call, uh, they called and uh, somebody uh, brought out a cage. They were going to attempt to trap this fox, whatever. And I'm like, that's not going to work because you can't trap a fox like that. The only way that you can really trap a fox is to bait it and all around the bait you set up foot traps which I don't like foot trapping although the newer foot traps uh, are coated in rubber so they don't break the animal's leg or hurt it as much I just don't like trapping Okay, but, you know, that's the way you catch them. They will not go into a cage. So they, they set this cage up, and two, three days go by. I see the fox, and uh, he's out in the side yard, and the thing is not acting right. He's just laying down. So I had just gotten home from work and <clears throat> went out with my 16-gauge shotgun. It saw me. It kind <clears> of <throat> rambled on through into some light brush. Uh, I could clearly see it, took the shot, and I put the animal under. Then, oh, by the way, smoking some Robert McConnell Scottish blend ale. So then, all these people on the internet are getting all excited and everything. You know, all these animal lovers and everything. And I'm an animal lover too. You've seen me with my cat and all that stuff. I'd love to have a dog. I just don't have the time. I'm, I'm not home enough. Wouldn't be fair to the dog. Uh, you know, so... Uh, Mm, great smoking pipe, by the way, with a great blood. So these animal lovers, who are traditionally liberals, which is fine. Like you said, I love animals. Uh, but all of a sudden, everyone's talking smack about Paul Gilson on the internet. How he shot this fox. And then all of a sudden, it turned into... Oh, we trapped it, and he shot it in the trap. It turns into that. Then they start contacting one of my daughters on Facebook saying, Is your father Paul Gilson? He's the biggest piece of shit and all this stuff. And then, you know, I'm making my family dinner for tomorrow, and I'm getting a call from my 21-year-old daughter my wife is yelling in the background. We live separate lives. Uh, 
And, you know, I'm trying to explain, and she nobody wants to hear it. And uh, so... This is the way that libtards work. All right? Libtards, liberal people, take one side of the story. Then they stretch it out. They don't want to hear any of your facts. They don't want to hear your side. They just want to hear how Paul the Pipe Guy shot and kill this poor defenseless fucking fox, all right, in a cage, which didn't happen. Actually, I'm smart enough where I figured, well, maybe the cage probably won't work, but I'm not going to go near it, otherwise it'll smell my scent. So I stayed away from the cage. Fox was on, the cage was on that side of the house. The fox was on that side of the house. Total opposite, 130, 140 feet away from the cage. I put this emaciated fox out of its misery. Now, normally, fox, they'll uh, go after things like mice and smaller rodents and stuff like that. But when an animal becomes sick, it preys on the easiest thing that it can to survive. And that's understandable. I get it. But there are chickens, you know, for the past two years. We've seen this fox kill our chickens, run off, and uh, so I, you know, I called the Department of Conservation and uh, discussed it with them, and they said, well, you know, they don't have to be in season. You know, if you got raccoons, or you got this, or you got that, or blah, 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 blah. And then they sent me a link. I read up on all these different predators of chickens that don't have to be in season. You don't have to have a license. But if they're killing your flock of chickens, you can, you can shoot them legally. And, I, you know, I, look, I only like to shoot stuff that I eat, all right? I didn't want to have to do this. Now I'm taking the heat, and I'm I can take the heat, all right. But when you start attacking my my family, and you're a fucking libtard, all right, and you don't know the whole story. Not that they would even care, because libtards, once they get something in their head, that's it. They don't want to hear the facts. They don't want to hear nothing. And then I got to listen to my daughter, you know, she's almost in tears. These people are contacting me, blah, blah, blah. That's not right. And that pisses me off. So I contacted, um, you know, one of the, uh, he's actually hired in our town. He's an employee of our town, the animal control agent. And when it happened, I contacted him and explained it to him. And he's like, look, I understand that you had to do what you had to do. says I'm not happy about it because this group of local people were trying to save this fox or whatever I feel like I killed Willie the whale or whatever you know
But no, he's involved in these Facebook conversations, and he doesn't say, oh, I know the full story, you know. This animal's been attacking the flock of chickens at Paul Gilson's house for two years. No, he doesn't say that. He's like, oh, I think that's horrible, and then all these people are jumping in. Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to confront him face to face. Well, yeah, what the fuck? What are you going to do? It's total bullshit. And I can take it. But when you start attacking my 21 year old daughter, who's beautiful, sensitive, And she's telling me, Dad, you did something that is now affecting me and these people are attacking me and I don't like it. I, you know, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. But I blame these libtards for not having even <laughs> the facts. They don't care about the facts. They just know that Paul Gilson killed a fox that they were trying to save, which is fine. And I think it's very important that we do have these people in a certain retarded capacity, all right? Because a lot of these people do help animals that do need help. And I'm an animal lover. I actually donate 20 or $30 a month towards the local shelter, you know, all of my, uh, I, I, I'm on well water, so I don't, I don't drink the water here, so all my water bottles, all my beer cans, all that stuff, I give 20, instead of taking them back, you know, to the return place and getting 20, 30 bucks a month, I have a woman that comes and collects them and so my 20 or $30 a month bottle donation, she takes them to the place where they're, you can return them for money. And then, you know, they, they feed the, the local animals and the rescue, you know, and, and I enjoy doing that, you know. So I'm a little bit wound up, and it's 10 o'clock p.m. <sighs> if only these tree huggers, libtards, knew the true facts, they probably would still ignore them and still attack me. Uh, that's the way these people operate. You know, let's say if I had a dog, all right, and I love my dog, and all of a sudden somebody shoots my dog, I'm going to be sad about it, but if they said, hey, your dog was coming down on our property and attacking our two-year-old daughter multiple times. We warned you about it. I'd be like, okay, I, I get it. You did the right thing. But these oversensitive people, and somehow the story morphed into I killed the fox. It morphed into, oh, when we picked up the cage, it was wet, so he must have, yeah, when we picked up the cage, it was wet. So he must have shot it in the cage. Well, the trap door was still open. I didn't shoot the thing in the cage. 
I can deal with a bunch of morons. What I can't deal with is when you attack very innocent, sensitive people in my family. And they, uh, my daughter called me up and reaming me out. And I could hear my wife in the background. I don't need that. You know? We got a uh, lady around the corner. She's the one that works for the volunteers for the dog shelter. And when she heard about it, she called me up. She's like, how could you do that? How could you shoot that poor fox? And then once I explained it to her that for the past two years, it's been killing my chicken. She's like, oh. Okay. I sent her a picture of the emaciated, mangy body of the fox. She says, oh, I get it. She says that that may be the same one that killed six chickens at my neighbor's house. See, a fox will They'll go in, they'll kill two, three chickens, drag them off. Pull them into their den and save them for later. I don't know. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. It pisses me off that they would contact my daughter. What are you going to do? So I contacted uh, probably a half hour ago. I contacted the, the guy who works for the town that's involved in all these conversations about me. He's not telling the full story. And I says, hey, man, why don't you tell the full story? You know, I'm thinking, of my, I didn't say it, but I'm thinking to myself, this, this guy's a fucking pussy. He's not telling the whole story. He's got all these girls that, you know, he's just like agreeing with. And, oh, yeah, that's a terrible thing he did. Why don't you say the fucking fox took like 20 chickens in the past two years off this property. We witnessed at least three or four killings. And tell the truth. He won't tell the truth because he's a fucking pussy. Anyways, great pipe, great smoke, great rant. I feel a little better. Got a clean shave, ready for Monday morning. Go back to work. Rah. Anyways, thanks for listening to my rant. <laughs> Paul the Pipe Guy over and out.